Hey everyone, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition, where we will be taking on the closet in part set in part seven. I'm sorry, sorry about that. I meant to say we will be taking on the closet in part seven of the custom night mode. And for this for this room, we'll be dealing with Wario, Waluigi, and Mario, and I've set them all to their levels. So without further ado, we will take on part 7 of the custom I mold in the closet and see what has offer for us. Okay, we have a flashlight and a speaker, huh? Hey, Jordan is gonna take over the call for tonight. You and him seem to get along well. Alright, uh, good night. Flashlight? What does this do? Oh. Hey man, you good? Wait, what's the matter? You what? You hide in the closet? What's wrong with you? That's one of the worst places you can hide. It's so small for anyone to get to you, and it's not even on camera. Obviously, since the closet... Oh god. Okay, so... Wait, what? You found a flashlight? Oh, thank heaven. What? And you found a Bluetooth speaker set up to your pad? You are incredibly lucky, man. If you did not find those, you would be dead for sure. So anyways, uh, if you see someone in front of the closet door, wait for them to get very close, and then keep the flashlight on them until they leave. So, anyone should appear in the closet with you, watch the cameras until they leave, okay? Now, watch the cameras tonight, if you see someone, turn on the Bluetooth speaker, it should make them go backwards. Be careful about the power in the speaker. Right. might not be the strongest. Okay? Okay. Please be careful tonight, man. I'll call you later. Okay, so... As you can already tell, Waluigi's gonna be the one in front of the closet, which, so if he gets closer, we have to use the flashlight. Which we don't have to right now, because his head is down. He's not looking at us. And I see Mario on the camera, so that means... Oh, Mario's in the... study. Okay, so if Mario appears on one of the cameras, we have to use, we have to play the speaker to send him back a room. Now playing the virus tone. Okay? That's definitely an appropriate name for the song because, because, I mean, these ghosts are viruses in some form. Okay, I'm checking for Waluigi because he's going to move at any minute and I have to use the flashlight to get rid of him. Up, oh, Waluigi just moved. He's staring at me. Okay. He's not close yet, so that's a good thing. And we have a limited bar for the music. Up, oh, Wario. Waluigi's about to come closer, so I have to use the flashlight. And then for Wario, if he comes in the closet, we have to put the camera up. Did Mario leave yet? No, he hasn't. And I don't know what happens if the speaker runs out of bars. I don't know what happens. <laughs> and I don't know how long Mario's going to be staying there for. Okay, he left, so that's good. Oh, Waluigi's close, so that means I can use the flashlight. Okay. So if Waluigi starts to look at me sideways, then I have to use the flashlight. And that music, that speaker's almost at a bar. I don't know what that is, why that is. Okay, Waluigi's back to where he started. which is right in front of me, so that means it's going to come move any minute. Ok, 
Okay, I'm checking the study for Mario. He's in there. And what's interesting about Wario is that he makes like a groaning sound instead of a breathing sound. That's really interesting. Okay, Mario left, so that's good. So now I can turn off the speaker. And I gotta conserve it anyways because I'm running low on battery. And I'm looking at Waluigi, he still has his head down, so that means he's not looking at me. Yeah, because Waluigi kind of does the same thing in Trap with Finn where he pretends not to notice the player, but then will notice the player eventually. And then Mario's mechanics are a little different than in the than in Finance Warriors Trap Within with the closet where instead of in, whereas in that in Trap with them we use an audio cue instead of a here's a speaker. And then for Wario in Trap Within, we just look away from him, but in this game we use a camera. We put the camera up. Okay, Waluigi's starting to move, so So I'm checking for him. And I'm checking for Mario too. And then Wario, Wario I've only seen once this night, so that's a good thing. Oh, he's there. I gotta put the camera up. And I gotta play the music for Mario. And the camera just died when I was checking for Mario. Okay, Mario left the study, so that means I can turn off the music box, or the speaker, sorry. And Waluigi's not close to me yet, so that's good. Alright, and we've beaten part six of the custom I mode in the study. I mean, the closet, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, which the closet was an interesting night. It actually wasn't as hard. In this game, it actually wasn't as hard to do as it wasn't trapped with them. Trapped within it was hard to do because if Waluigi looked up at you, you had to close the closet door on him or else it was instant death. So yeah, so let's see what room is next. Okay. Next room we have is the third bathroom, which we will take on the third bathroom in this video as well since I have enough time to record. And before I do that, I have to set the characters to their levels, which the characters actor for the bathroom are... Wario, Yoshi, and Mario. Okay, I can, I'm going to keep Wario and Mario on their level since they're active. And then I'll set, I'll, I'll put Waluigi on zero and then set Yoshi to, to, the, to the level. There we are. So without further ado, we will take on part 7 of the custom night mode in the third bathroom and see what it has to offer for us. Okay, we have a, we can flush the toilet and we have a refill system for the water. Oh, we have a camera too? Okay. Alright, so the toilet flushing and the refill reminds me of 
of when we tied the hide in the second bathroom and find us warriors trapped within. And this camera reminds me of Final Fantasy Smarters 4 where we had to take a picture of Thomas to make him leave. Okay, so anyways, so I gotta check the bathroom wind, wind mirror and the door to see whoever comes in. Okay, I see Wario. He's making his way toward me. Okay, I gotta make sure to check the mirror often because Mario, because I think someone will appear from behind at a random time. Okay, so I'm checking the mirror. I don't know which mirror exactly. Whoa! Okay, that's Wario. Okay, so for Wario, we have to flush the toilet for him. And whoever else comes from that door, we have to flush the toilet, toilet for them too. And then whoever's on the mirror, we have to use the camera. Because apparently we have to flush the toilet for Wario. Just like, just like you would in Trapped Within in the second bathroom. Oh, Mario, I gotta take a picture of him. Okay, so if Mario comes from the, the mirror, then we have to take a picture of him. And then we have to delete the photo afterwards so that we can have some storage freed up, because if we don't have to delete the photo, then we have to, then we get killed, because we can't use the camera. Okay, and then I'm assuming for Yoshi, he's gonna work the same as Wario, where we have to flush the toilet. For him, because Mario's the one who will appear in the mirror, and then Wario and Yoshi, and then Wario appears in the door, and I think Yoshi will too. That's my assumption. Which I haven't even seen Yoshi at all this night. Oh, Yoshi's here. Okay, so just like with Wario, I have to flush the toilet for Yoshi if he's at the door, because he has the same mechanic as Wario. Okay. And I haven't had to refill the water yet, so that's a good thing. Now I'm checking for Mario. I see Wario in the studies. I gotta check for Mario. And Wario and Yoshi, let's not forget. <laughs> okay. The phone guy's right, this bathroom is actually really fancy. It's one of the coolest bathrooms I've ever seen. I think that was Yoshi or Warrior that just came in because I just had to flush the toilet. And trust me, the, the toilet flushing in this game, the toilet set, the toilet in this game has a longer flush sound than as the one in Trap Within, which that's really interesting. I don't know why that is. And this whole toilet flushing thing also reminds me of um. Five Nights with Bud rebooted, where we had to flush the toilet for Bud every time we saw him in the kitchen.
Alright, and we've beaten part 7 of the Custom 9 Modus in the th third bathroom as well in this video. So that's good. So let's see what's next. Okay. So the next thing we have is, um, the next room we have, which is the last room that we're going to be doing in the, in the Custom 9 Mode, is the second cellar. And everyone's going to be active, and judging by the by the title and that thing, it, it's it's probably it's most likely going to be the hardest room in the game since everyone is active at once. But anyways, and since the second since the cellar tends to be the hardest room in these type of Finance of Warriors games, we will take we will take on the second cellar in part eight of the custom night mode, which will be in the next video. So. I will end my video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.